Check out doll.gg for different gift card boxes, such as Xbox, Fortnite, and Amazon. You'll be amazed to find that you can buy an Amazon box for only $5.99 and win up to $500 in gift cards. If you're not from the US, the site will automatically give you gift cards in the currency that you choose. Also note that every time you spin, you have a guaranteed prize. The link to doll.gg is in the top of the description. Our story begins with me starting fresh on a server solo. I didn't have any blueprints, so collecting them would be my main goal. But before I started my blueprint quest, I needed to farm up and get a base down. Oh, these guys are gonna chase me. Fuck. Why do they chase me and then just... Okay, why? Why would they just run up and accept death? What kind of server is this? Am I on a roleplay server? Is he not supposed to shoot back? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? Probably should have bought wood, but whatever. Shortly after getting my base down, I heard some gunshots. So I ran over, hoping to get some scraps. Oh, this is, uh, this is kind of spicy. Damn, I don't know about this one, chat. Maybe I can go around and loot this guy. Seems like these guys are getting raided or something. I think the guy in the roof's raiding. Okay, where did he come from? I'm just gonna have to run there naked with nothing. Let's see if he left the bow. Oh, Tommy! Oh, what the fuck? Please, med. At least there's plays to be made here, guys. You know what? I might run over there naked one more time, because last time we ran over there naked, I did pick up a Tommy. So many bodies. He's distracted. Well, we're gonna need to get ammo for this. I now had something to work towards researching, so I began farming the road for scrap. Ooh, nice, we go register. Bubs. Get a ladder from grinding a ladder hatch. I'm gonna grind it. And if I get a ladder, that's way more useful to me than a ladder hatch. Oh, I didn't get a ladder, guys. Metal tools? What's he doing? Let's 
going on here, boys? While out roaming the road, I noticed a naked looting a body. Yes! We need to go. Let's not get greedy. The yoinks! Please tell me he's not waiting at my fucking base. After crafting a revolver, I decided to do Sewer Branch again, but when I arrived, I noticed someone else was just completing it. I later headed over to do the puzzle at water treatment when I noticed the player running by. He's got some stuff, boys. I didn't see it. That's a good amount of scrap, boys. Now that I had a good amount of scrap, I could research more items that I needed. I also decided to expand the base slightly. All right, we'll save the rest to get T2 later. I also tried to pursue a player on a horse, but his horse was much faster. Isn't that the, the horse the guy had? Oh, he's in a fight or something. Another guy's coming in. Nope, I'm out of there. I was on my way to Sewer Branch again when I heard a nearby raid. In those. Explo? Random crossbow guy. There is an Explo ammo raid. So you get. Looks like he was about to do the puzzle too. Is that it there? Oh, it is. Is it one guy? Oh, it's two, it's two. <laughs> He's getting bit. I'm out. Fuck that. Maybe I'll go stash this somewhere. He left. Nah, I don't have enough to. They don't have enough to do it. They might not even come back. I think I just did. After a couple more farm runs, I finally had enough for a tier 2 workbench. I also had a little left over, so I bought an oil refinery. With an oil refinery in my base, I soon had plenty of fuel, so I crafted a flamethrower and began flame raiding. Probably watch somebody else with that. Oh, I got. 
Oh, that sucked. Unfortunately, the first flame raid ended because of a metal door. I would need explosives if I wanted to continue. But in the meantime, I found another base to flame raid. Oh, 482 crude! 1500 cloth! Okay, I just need to leave. Fuck it. Bro. Almost 500 crude and almost 2000 cloth. That's so much for what I just did. That's insane. Eventually, my area started to get more busy, and I soon found myself in a lot more fights. Oh, oh you got me. Oh well. I was fighting somebody. He's not down, is he? Oh, he is. All right, I made back the SAR kit I lost. I got fucking three SARS. Sorry, boys. Yikes. Shortly after that fight, I researched the satchel and a bean can I'd been saving from earlier. I then crafted some satchels so I could finish the raid from earlier. Nope. Make a spear and take out the first thing. Okay, the plan is to run over and get to that thing. That's Pog. Good loot. Now it might actually be a good time to ditch because it's nighttime. I later found a half-rated base. I decided to use some explosive from the counter raid to finish it. Ooh, that hurt. Not really that much in here, but I'll take it. Hmm. Oh, 
Well, that's right in front of my base. Big eggs. You're like on my base or something, dude. Oh, oh. No, I, I bled out. Oh, no, I, I, I fucked up. I missed my shots, boys. Oh, well, happens. Eventually, I was able to transfer the raid loot into my base, but unfortunately, that is where a solo journey ends. I ended up inviting some friends on the next day, and I want to keep this video solo only. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I also want to make an announcement. I now have a second channel, so if you want to see some extra content from me, make sure to subscribe to Swills 2.0.